Hey fine folks, it's your boy Halo Spades back at it with another Magic the Gathering content video in a long time. So, I just want to discuss some minor things here with you guys and share some of my thoughts. Um, and I want to share what Magic actually means to me. But in order for me to do so, let's go ahead and get started to how I got introduced to the game. So I used to work in a call center and I saw these two guys uh, in between calls and on calls were playing a game of magic um, without sleeves, by the way. So they were very casual about it. And one day I was sitting next to them and I just piqued my interest because I had nothing better to do because it was a really slow day. So I asked them to show me the game and they actually taught me the game and I would play with their decks and it was fun. And I said, wow, this is a fun game. Why did I know about it? So I actually paid them to make a deck for me because I had no clue what to do with the game. I didn't know where to get the cards from. Did not know about local game stores or anything like that. So they made a deck for me and they charged me 30 bucks for it. Although hindsight, the deck probably was not worth 30 bucks, but, um, and this was back in 2011. Okay, so Fast forward to now, I mean, let's just let's talk about what Magic has done for me over the course of the years. So I've been homeless during this time after 2011, and it helped me get through because I used to hang out at people's houses and play the game of Magic while I was in between looking for jobs. But I literally slept on the streets and hanging out with people. The gathering part of Magic actually is what helped me get through a lot of the stuff that I've been through, you know. and. Anytime I moved to a new city, because I'm from Miami, Florida, originally, and then I moved to Jacksonville, Florida, and the way I made friends was uh, Magic the Gathering. You know, I'd go to game shops. Now, there was a point in time in my life that I couldn't play for several years because of my work, and I could never make it on time to a Magic game, or a draft, or a standard event, or whatever have you for FNM. So I didn't get to you know build a community that way, but once I was able to get back to doing that, like for example, we moved from Jacksonville, Florida to St. Louis, Missouri, I was actually able to make friends because of this game. You know, didn't know anybody in town, and I'm still friends with some of these people today because of this game, and all of that happened because of Paper Magic. Now, mind you, I'm not bashing Arena or people that enjoy the game on Arena. I'm more discussing what magic means to me. Magic can mean whatever you want to mean for you. But for me, it's the friendship that it brings and, and cultivates the community together, you know? Because I've also, we've all come together because of this. We've gone out to eat together, uh, you know, play testing if you're really competitive. And I actually did get competitive for a while. And you test with each other, you go to Grand Prix together, and that's what I'm gonna still call them, Grand Prix or SCG opens, and you travel to these places, you know, it may not seem like much to some people, but it was an adventure. It was fun for me. Um, obviously, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so uh, playing Paper Magic is not very easy or feasible to do. Um, there are ways that people are doing it outside of it, you know, using Spell Table, uh, which is what I've been doing lately, and that's how I'm going to continue to do it until our shop says, hey, you guys can come over here and play because some shops again are doing it but because they're not sanctioned tournaments they're just people getting together and playing the game but what magic again means to me is the unity that it brings the community you know yeah we don't always agree on everything and yeah i may not like control decks but it doesn't mean i don't like the person playing said control deck so, you know i actually have a good conversation with people you know and that is what it, magic has been for me it's been the community and it's been so much for me, so it really hurts me to say that I've been seeing people saying that Paper Magic should go away because it's holding the game back. That That's a little far-fetched. You can't really forget where you came from. And this is why I say don't ever forget about Paper. Don't ever do away with Paper because that is where it came from. And once all this stuff is over, if we ever get back to normal, guess where you're going to be playing Magic at? At a local game store, not Arena. Arena is just there filling in the time being because guess what? We can't be around each other. And again, until they do something with Arena to make it to where it's a bit more inclusive for people on consoles, because I don't really like computer gaming. I like console gaming. I'm actually a video gamer before Magic. Magic came to my life as an adult. 
but it's meant so much for me. It's helped me get through tough times. It's helped me get through homelessness. It has helped me grow as a person. It has taught me a lot of lessons because you could take what you learn from the game of magic and actually apply it to your life and improve yourself. You know, there's a lot that can be taught about magic and that's just why it means so much to me now. So without further ado, let's get into what you guys came here for and that's for product openings. So I just wanted to give you a little PSA of what magic means to me. So let's get to it. What's going on fine folks? Halo Spades back at it again. And the long awaited video. And here it is. What, what you were you were expecting something else? Oh you were, okay, cool. How about that? No? Fine. I am not so, entertained! Let's get to it, fine folks. And there's also a little extra goodie here. So we're gonna start off with the appetizer and work our way up. Because aren't we special like that? Well, a lot of stuff's been going on with paper magic as of late, or not enough stuff's been going on, but hell, oh, cards have been getting banned even before they got to see too much play, but I can get why they got banned. I'm not here to talk, discuss banned. I'm here to open stuff for you guys. And Hey, look at that, another green die. Spin down for all those that like to judge. Well, just so you know, I will be giving a code to one lucky viewer or follower or subscriber or whatever the heck you call it. Because I, I do stuff on Twitch and Twitter and here and Discord. So there's so many different titles for so many different things. On Twitch, a follower is someone that follows you. Subscriber is someone that pays. And a subscriber on YouTube is just someone that just does it for free. So... But speaking of which, make sure to do that, guys, so you could uh, support the channel and see what more stuff comes from the channel here. So, I don't know what in particular card I'm looking for. All I know is I just like opening packs. So, let's get to it. No foil, so sad face on that. All right, that's a replacement for lava coil. If people even use it, hmm, not too shabby. Yay! I don't. I think. Hmm, not too shabby. All right, so that's the rare. You get your full arts. So we try to keep this as organized as possible here. So bear with me. So any new decks that you guys, you folks have been brewing up with? Because if you have, let me know what you've been doing in the comments down below. I'll do my best to try to get them on, on matches if possible. All right. I'm sure it's good for limited some way, shape, or form. I don't know what kind of deck we would build here, to be honest with you. We sh we're not going to discuss that. We're going to try to keep it as short as possible. Just going to open up packs. Alright, we have us a foil, folks. Now, mind you, I have not been... Uh, doing too much with the game of magic uh mainly because i don't i only play on paper i'm not one to really do eventually i'll start filming with that but i haven't really come up with any decks as of late because magic has been kind of a, a rough spot for me lately yay a card that i pre-ordered <laughs> 
That's always good. But I got mine in foil though. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is kind of like blink of an eye. But for, uh... Yeah, this is like blink of an eye, but with kicker. Wait, did blink of an eye have kicker? I don't remember. That card was, was fun, but not fun to play against. Fun to use, though. Funny thing about me and Control is I hate it unless I'm the one playing it. And I very, very rarely play Control. The type of Control I normally play is very aggressive Control. So I have a Rakdos deck. You might have seen it in some of my Pioneer videos. So... You might have seen those in, in some of my Pioneer videos, and most of the time is it's it's you get to play something, but it gets killed most of the time or exiled. Ooh, a juicy one. You got us a juicy card, folks. And this has actually been seen a lot of play, mainly because one, it's a land, or two, it helps exile or deal with uh, problematic creatures, i.e. looking at you... Meyer Triton causing all that ruckus. Sorry, you guys. It's every time I get a pre release kit, it just doesn't feel right, you know? It really doesn't feel right because I'm used to playing it with people. People. And without people, it's just no fun. Ooh, that's pretty. I'd like to see that in foil. Well, if I was building a deck of any sorts of limited, I'd honestly be going red-black. Splash may be colorless. Mainly, I, would, I don't know if I'd even want to force this. Let me see something here. Okay, it doesn't have draw a card or anything. I like how they have Ailey on there still, or Ailey, or the, you know, the, the Death Touch gal, the white and black. Alright, let's take a look here. Ooh. A mouse. Hmm, not too bad. And we have us a Zareth Sand. Sad face in the Lord. Whoa! A foil Jace? Full art? Alt? Whatever you call it? Nice. Nice. Wow. Who did I get excited about a Jace card, huh? Now, let's move on to this bundle. Fat pack. Fat pack. Don't yeah. okay. Should, Let me see if I can find my knife around here. Yeah. I always liked these when they had the booklets. I really do love the booklets. I wish they'd bring them back, because they kind of tell you a bit of the story, and they tell you what cards are in the set. Well, after a while, they changed it to where they didn't even have which cards were in the set. You know, like a checklist in the back. wish they kind of went back to that, but I guess they're saving tons of money. And they gave you this useless box, which I trash these all the time. I should probably start finding a way to use them positively. I like the posters. So I keep these so I can hang them up. And here we have us a nice box. So I miss when they used to put the name of the set on here. So they really have changed it enough to where it's like almost not even worth getting these anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. Ooh, pretty. 
I'm sure the collector one is pretty nice. And then they give you an alt art Cherix, the Raging Isle, which I'm sure people will find a lot of fun stuff to do with this card. Yeah, I don't see any reason why you can't have fun with that card. What nonsense that they give you in here. All right, rules. This is what they should be putting on cards. Stuff like this, you know? Not any of the crap that I might have come across in here. Did I come? Nope, I didn't come across any crap for once. All right, let's get back to it. As you guys came here to hear the sound of packs opening. So I'm going to do this for my buddy at eight, uh, MTGA SMR. And I used to love when he did this right here. Or, you know, let me see if I can get a better angle of it, of how he did it. He did a really good job at it one time. Again, this is not my type of content. If you want to check out that content, make sure to go to his uh, YouTube channel and uh, check it out. Give him a follow or subscribe. Sorry, subscribe. And then he likes to go. Oh boy, we're already in a mess and. Nice. This is a pretty good start of a, a bundle, fat pack, whatever. Whatever. This. This is what I'm talking about. What the hell, man? I get it. You got to advertise. You're talking to a guy that deals with advertisements. But why do you need two sides for this? Look. Look. You get that still. And look what you get there. <gasps> or maybe this. There you go. And there you go. Who, who's, who's it hurting by doing that? Or maybe this. Hello, newer players. Think of them. Please. And thank you. That, that even that's acceptable. Don't leave blank cards with arena advertisements only. Geez, you already killed a tree. Might as well get the most use out of it. No foil. Let's go. Ooh, that's always a fun spicy card. Kind of looks like my buddy Titan Smash MTG. Or looks like Todd Anderson a little bit too because that beard. But they could debate it up and who it looks like the most. You could also comment down below and say who it looks like. I still say it looks like Titan Smash um, when if he shaved his head and went real pale. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. If you guys want gameplay videos and awesome deck techs and all types of cool stuff magic related, make sure to check him out as well too. Since I haven't been doing as much magic. Uh, I have been playing on Spell Table. Which I'm going to get the videos. I stream those games with uh, my buddy uh, uh, Sean from a uh, MTG. My goodness, I can't even remember. I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't remember his handle. It's MTG underscore ASMR. And I play with him on Spell Table, which is a really cool site. It's free to use. You don't have to, and that way you can play Paper Magic remotely with your friends. As, as you all know, I don't like playing on Arena. A lot of people have been hating on this card for some reason. I think it's pretty decent. Especially with Landfall. This cut, Trample, Haste, Tutu, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, return a land you control to its owner's hand. So it has to deal combat damage. That's what people think is just when it attacks. Kind of like Goblin Guide. Everyone's like, well, why can't we just get Goblin Guide? I don't know. I guess that's too broken for standard. For Lightning Bolt. That's too broken for standard too, I guess.
we do have us a foil. Now, mind you, the control that I do play, and I do play it from time to time, is rack those control, and it's mostly to kill your stuff and uh, play threats. Kazandu Mammoth, that's a pretty good card. So uh, you could usually resolve the spells, because I'm not going to counter it, so don't, you could always play your card with no fear of me countering it ever. Heaven forbid I ever counter a spell. I actually watched some old videos of me that I uh, countered a spell. And let's just put it this way. I did not end up winning. Got my butt kicked. Oh, look at that, a rogue card. Everyone hates, everyone loves the rogues, apparently. All right, Soul Shatter. Not too bad. Great for limited, great for standard, great for constructed. I mean, mind you, you won't see that in modern, or you won't see that in, you know, legacy or vintage. I mean, if you do, it's because, A, they don't have the cards to play the, the good ones, or B, they may be a newer player venturing into older formats. Surprise, that happens sometimes. I know. I think the party mechanic, I misjudged it. I thought that, you know, like that pack beast or whatever that thing is. I thought it counted for all of them, but in reality, it's only just counting just for the one. All right. So, thereby, there's no real abuse happening for a party mechanic. Which I slightly misjudged. All right, it's Foil City, kitties. Take me down to the Foil Dice City. All right, don't yeah, don't leave, please. I'm sorry. Glass Pool Mimic. A lot of people have been playing this lately. It's been fun. And don't forget your utility knife. All right, sorry about that. I had to do a shameless plug there. I thought it'd be funny. You get the gist of it. Oh, look at all this crap all over the place. Who likes wrappers all over the place? Heck, most Magic players have cards all over the place. Heck, I should know. Eh, did I put the wrong thing? I did a Joey Moss. I put the wrong stuff in the wrong pile. Anyone been trying to brew anything up with Is It lately? I feel like they've been forgotten, unfortunately. With all this, uh, wow, not a single one of those rare lands? This is crazy. You would have thought I would have seen more of those, but I guess not. I have not seen a single one, even in my other pre-release kit. Yeah, I like this card a lot. I actually want to have a lot of fun with this. There's a lot of fun things I plan on doing with it. You all know what that is. When you see me do that, you know what that means. Which means, actually, I have to go after this one, too. Let's do it. Yeah. You deal with trash cards like that. Send a message. Kind of like swinging with an O2 goose. Did not end on the foil. Hopefully, you go out with a bang. Ta! Duplicate rare. Womp womp. All right, so let's compile. Now for the moment you all have been waiting for. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun.
infect yourself. Don't try this at home if you're gonna infect yourself. I've been sitting on this for quite some time. I just gotta say, feels good to finally get this cracked open. I think. Oh, you gotta do that. Ooh. Let's make a sandwich. Now, you should definitely check out the, the booster bundle, bo booster boxes that uh, Children of Alara opened up, which was a pretty cool video. Their intro was really over the top, so I gotta say I love their intro. All right, we have us a forest foil. All right, we're gonna do the commons and uncommons and rares, I guess. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna put all the non-rare stuff or spectacular stuff. Nice, Nissa. Kazandu Nectar Pot. Phylath, World Sculptor. Hmm. Hey, foil. Whoa. Did I just open what I think I opened? A foil? Oh, wow. That is super slick. We'll put you over here, but... Cat, beast, and insects. Wow. Although it is a seven mana sorcery. I mean, I don't know why everyone gets excited about it for, but you know, it's still pretty. It's a full art foil and it's a mythic. So can't go wrong with that. So shiny. I love shinies. Like I actually have a deck in Pioneer that is one card away from being foil. Oh, nice. I actually like this one in foil. This is the one I would actually go with, I think. I actually haven't seen them all, so I don't know which one I would go with. Nice. Ooh, I like this card because it's playable. Very playable. Boo-hoo to you. Hey, there we go. A full art version of it, too. A uh, full art one would have been nice to see, but I'll take that. Whoa. That's pretty. That's rather pretty. And then we got us an illusion and a copy. Well, at least I'm trying to keep my pals organized here. Somewhat. Try. Not a very organized man, but I know a game of magic when I see one. Ooh. I always like Sam Burley's art. Like, I was looking at this when they first got spoiled, and I thought they were pretty fun. Yay! I don't have to buy any more of these. <laughs> I pre ordered those. This is pretty sweet. And then you can combine this with Embercleave. It's a one mana, put it. Okay, so it doesn't buff anything at first. It's when a land enters the battlefield, but you could crack some fabled passages and nice. And you know, get some pump in a, oh! We did it! We got us a wood foothill foil expedition. Uh... Outlet construct. All right. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, man. Nice. Too bad they're not Pioneer legal. They're modern legal, though. But Wooded Foothill sadly does not see too much play in Pioneer except for Burn, maybe? 
Maybe there's other decks. Just let me know if there is any. I don't do too much in the those eternal formats. And this is actually the island that I like for this set. Oh, nice. I like this art. Another mammoth. Oh my. Hey, we got one of those bad boys. Oh, and one of those guys. Plus two, plus two until end of turn. Not too bad. Nice. Well, at least we're getting the lands out of the way, finally, after I just complained about them. And then we have us a Gato and a Hydra token. Ooh, this will come in handy for my Grackmaw deck that I actually want to put together. One less to cast for each creature in your party. Not too bad. It's a tutor of sorts. Well, it is a tutor. Nice, four or less without paying its mana cost. So there's got to be ways to abuse that. I don't know why people haven't been trying to. I guess people are so busy focusing on the meta or whatnot. And the lightning on there looks pretty. One day we'll get lightning bolt in standard. Of course, there'll be a time when, ooh, roiling regrowth. I think it's pretty good. Although there's that card that doesn't let you sacrifice that green white elemental boar y Yasharn I think is that what it is yay I don't have to buy more of these these are the ones I actually ended up liking we have a soul shatter I do like this artist right here uh, Wiley Becker uh, pretty good artwork I gotta say nice oops wrong pile <laughs> Yay, it's everyone's favorite crab that everyone hates. Ooh, an alt art Kazandu mammoth. Do mammoth things. And we got a Spitfire Lagak. Ooh, and a Felidar Retreat. I like this card a lot. I really do, actually. Because I like counters. That's the only type of countering I approve of. Ooh, I could use these for my Nissa uh, Voices Endicard tokens. Zero one plants. Oh, and just these packs alone, and I, mind you, I always say buy the cards you need because uh, it could get pretty expensive. Um, it could be really bad. Sometimes these boxes tend to be crappy towards you. So you kind, kind of want to be cautious about that. So it's better not to play the lottery and take control of what you can take control of. All right, so I got like, I think a place out of those already finally get those out of the way. All right, and we got us a Jace here. And I think we have one more to go with. Oh, we have two more. Oh, and the hero's lithoforming. Sacrifice X lands. For each land sacrifice this way, draw a card. You may play X additional lands this turn. Lands you control enter the battlefield tapped this turn. So you could draw a bunch of cards. I mean, I'm sure commander players would love this. This is not a double-sided thing, but hey, it's pretty though. What makes Drake's? Huh. I have to remember. What, I don't even remember what makes Drake's in this set. Obviously, something makes it because they wouldn't just include a Drake token just to have it. I like people that have had fun and made like Drake, like um, the rapper Drake tokens, like uh, RK Post. He actually made a, a, a Drake token. It was funny. He has a lot of cool stuff though. He has a lot of cool art, actually. He's... Oh, this is interesting. I like that one. That looks pretty. So does anyone have a favorite uh, land in this one? All right, now here's Lithroforming. 
Inscription of Insight. You would think this would be an instant. Prowling Felidar. They love their Felidars over there in uh, Zendikar. All right. We have us a Demir Land. Not too shabby. One thing I do stress is make sure you pick up your lands as quick as you can because those are the most expensive parts of the formats um, that I've noticed. So I've been picking up a lot of my lands, you know, especially for Pioneer because that's usually what keeps people from playing the game of Magic is not having the necessary lands. Alright, we have us a Swamp. Ooh, what is this? What the heck is this? Wow, okay. I guess it's a Commander card. I didn't think they had those in this, but sure. Hey, it's that Nighthawk Vampire. What is this? Oh, this is that card that everyone was talking about. It's un and they under, never a land enters the battlefield under your control. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card for as long as it remains exiled. At the beginning of your end set, if there are cards exiled with Valakut exploration, put them into their, and you may play, so it includes lands. At the beginning, of your end step if there are cards exiled with Valakut exploration put them into their owner's graveyard then Valakut exploration deals that much damage to each opponent nice yay I love foil lands how'd you know <laughs> yeah Thank goodness, two down, two more to go. Oh man, I love opening packs. It's just so relaxing for me. It's therapeutic almost. Can someone recommend a therapist that tells you to open packs for your health? <laughs> I would like to meet this therapist. All right. This is gonna probably be my card that chases me the whole entire set. You know how you always get those rares that constantly chase you? And you're like, ugh, stop opening up. I don't want to see you anymore. Mine for whichever one that had that five mana squid from one of the Ravnica sets recently, that was mine. I opened like six of those. Nice, a Boros land. Because everyone knows I love that, but I'll take whatever I can get. The Foil Nectar Pot. <gasps> Another Expedition! It's a Fast Land, too. Wow. Wow. Fantastic. Gotta say, that, wow, that feels great. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that was so cool. I didn't know what that was at first. I mean, what the heck is that? Ooh, that's pretty shiny. Grakma. Welcome, buddy. You're my third, fourth one now, I think. Or is it fourth one? I don't know how many I, you I bought already. Yes, I'll take this all day. Er day. Er day. Foils, baby. Shine it up. Holy crap, these Spitfire Legax are like a plague. They're everywhere. It must be a pandemic of some sorts going on or something. I don't know. Scoote Swarm. It's my buddy Scooty. Scoot Swarm. <laughs> Everyone hates this card, apparently. Nice. We have a Thieving Skydiver. Nice. There's been 
stuff for Pioneer that you can attach, or Historic, I guess, that you can attach a Colossus Hammer to this. <laughs> so for three mana, attach a Colossus Hammer. It's ridiculous. All right, we're getting down to the home stretch. And then you guys, you find folks would be on your way again, and you'll be out watching some other videos or something. Ooh, that one's a pretty forest, I gotta say. I might switch to those forests, but we'll see. I already have nice, the alt art version of the alt art guy. Where is he at? Right here. So poop. Nice. So for six mana, you can get this and another creature from your graveyard to the back. Any creature too. So nice. Z Bex actually cosplayed as this. So if you guys don't know who she is, Zenaid Beckham. I don't know what her real name is, but check her out. She's funny. All right, and we got the Is It Land. And we have an Akiri. And then there's an, another insect. All right, last pack. How shall it go? Let's find out. Ooh, I like that one. That one's very shiny. Coveted prize, extended art. Yay! Didn't I? I yeah, I did order a play set of these already in foil, so I can give that away to somebody. So a lucky viewer can get that. Mr. Bando himself. You dirty little bandit. I'm sure you'll cause trouble in Pioneer. Nice. I kind of like this. Because you get to put, put, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. And if you've got enough mana for it, which is five mana, not too, too daunting to do, you can do all this fun stuff. Alrighty then. Now on to the box toppers. Wish they were foil, but well, take what I can get, you know. It's, it's a free expedition, I guess, so can't complain about that. Alright, just gotta be gentle. What shall it be? A creeping crap pit. Just kidding. It's, Still pretty decent, salt. All right, let's see what's in this promo pack that's been wanting to get open for like 500 years. And I'll even give away this code too, because uh, apparently you guys like arena codes. So make sure to comment down below and saying why you should get the codes. Lotus Cobra, Cobra Kai. Hi! Blood Chief's Thirst, Alt Art, I'll take that. And a Carvic the Spiteful. Other creatures get minus one, minus one. Oh, we can't show that off. And the last one in here. A Bloodstained Mire. I'll take that. Oh man, that's, that's a, that was an awesome, awesome collector booster. So let's try to do a quick recap here. Let's do a little bit of a recap. Any of these cards that you guys, you find folks like here? I mean, there's a lot here to like. I mean, don't get me wrong. These booster collector bundle thingamabobbers are freaking fantastic. 
Now, mind you, they're very costly. I have no idea what that card is. Like, I still don't know. That's the only commander card. They didn't really throw in a lot of commander cards in this one. So pretty. I guess I could trade for a lot of the lands if I wanted to. Nice. A foil Nissa. <laughs> so thank you fine folks for coming by and joining. Again, make sure to comment down below for some of these codes. I got a pre-release pack code to give away and I got this promo pack code to give away. So two winners will be selected for that. And also I will send out a card of in here maybe a couple of cards might get sent out to random viewers just got to contact me regarding that you can connect with me on twitter or my discord which is down below and also if you want to see some actual video gaming um, maybe even some some magic on paper you can follow me on twitch that's all going to be down below again thank you guys for joining me you could be anywhere else but you're here with me watching this fantastic video so please make sure to leave a like Make sure to subscribe because that actually helps the channel and lets YouTube know that you like what you see here so they could recommend it and we could help other people, you know, by doing giveaways. So, again, be safe to each other out there. Be kind. But most importantly, dream high, dream often. This is your boy Halo Spades signing off. Peace.